Hello! Welcome back! Today is going to be January's haul video. Now if you'll remember, January was no by January. That turned into low by January. And one of the orders that I have here was ordered in December, but it didn't arrive until January, so it kind of doesn't count. Actually two of the orders didn't arrive until January, but they were ordered in December. So we're going to start with those first, and if you guys want to see what I purchased in January, then just keep watching. The first thing was from ColourPop. They released their Kathleen Knight's Where the Night Is quad, and I had to get it because I was completely obsessed with the colors in this quad. Um, so I'll insert swatches of those but because uh, they're not actually in here <laughs> um, but I wanted to get this for sure so this came out I think the 28th or 6th or whatever so of December that's when I ordered this and then while I was at it I also ordered the puppy love eyeshadow proceeds of every puppy love eyeshadow are donated to the best friends animal society speaking of hi buddy hi buddy the only national welfare organization, welfare organization focused exclusively on ending the killing of dogs and cats in America's shelters through their NKLA initiative. They're working to make LA a no-kill city by 2017, and all across the country, they're working to save them all, which I completely love. If I could rescue all of the animals, I would. So this is something that I definitely wanted to and the shadow is really pretty too but honestly even if I hated the color I probably would have bought it anyway. It is a pearlized finish sort of a flesh colored peachy pearlized finish. One thing I do like about the new the ColourPop orders now is instead of all of the cards that tell you a little bit about each product you're ordering they have a little book that has just all of the information so it's I always got like 17 cards in my orders and I didn't like those so I like the book better. In that order I also ordered the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Aquarius. This is the one of the two Kathleen Lights colors and I just got the Lippy Pencil because you can use this to fill in your, your whole lips if you want and it's just a really pretty brown nude. The other order was from Kiko which I had never purchased from Kiko before. I've used their nail polishes that I've received in like swaps, but I've never ordered from the website because I didn't even realize that you could. And I also have never used any of their makeup. And I was watching It's Kirsten. She had ordered, I believe it was this Moon Dust face powder, and I can't remember which color, but I was so mesmerized by the packaging. I was like, I need that. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's so cool. I know that's a stupid thing to be excited about, but I'm stupid so then this is the powder itself sorry I'm gonna blind you but mine is in the color number one mysterious pink and it's just really pretty like pink shimmery blush while I was on the website I did order a few other things this is the rebel bouncy blush in number one velvety peach Again, really pretty packaging, this sort of rose gold color packaging, and this blush. This reminds me of Tarte's Exposed, except it's it's uh, like a bouncy blush, like, much like the ColourPop blushes. And it's just a pretty peachy color. Then I ordered two lip products. Uh, lip liners actually these are the Kiko intensively lavish lip pencil they don't have names on here there are names on the website but I can't remember what they are but this is number one and number four a rose pink and then a little brighter berry color from Kiko I ordered two of the moon shadow water infused eyeshadows in number three and four again the names are on the product but I know they had names on the website and that drives me nuts but these are very uh, cooling and the number three is sort of like a blackened purple and then number four is a like sapphire blue and they're very very comfortable 
um, to swatch. I haven't worn them yet, but they do feel cooling. Next is from City Color Cosmetics. I believe there was a 20% off sale on New Year's Day, and I was like, well, it's only day one of my no buy, so let's just buy some stuff. So I ordered six of their shimmer shadows. The names are. Oh, okay, so I got New Year, New Me, this goldeny color, Pharaoh, this really cool yellow gold bubble bath, a, I guess I should open them, Spring Fling, it's really pretty purple, It's a Boy, this completely gorgeous blue, and Beach Cottage, this really gorgeous um, emerald green. These are all shimmery, obviously they're called shimmer shadows. Um, and I do have a coupon code for these, it is an affiliate link, but I think it's 10% off, so if they aren't running any sales, you want to get 10% off, I believe these are $6.99 each. Next is from e.l.f. and I purchased two things, they released some new skincare items that I was completely mesmerized by. The first. The first is the e.l.f. Hydrating Bubble Mask. I can't remember the like high-end brand that has the bubble mask. I'm not sure if it's Peter Thomas Roth. But you basically apply it and then it sort of fizzes and foams and dissipates on your skin. And that's what this does. And so I obviously wanted to try the affordable brand. I've used this twice. The first time I honestly was so mesmerized by how it works that I didn't even pay attention to how I liked the mask. The second time I tried to focus on how the mask made my skin feel, it is so, it tickles because it's fizzing on your face and it just, it almost like itches just because it's like tickling your face, but it does feel really nice. Uh, my skin felt very smooth afterwards. It didn't irritate my skin or cause any redness or inflammation or breakouts. So I really, actually really like this. And I think this was $14. I'll try it. I mean, I'll link it down below. I think it was just this little facial massager. After you apply your moisturizer, you're supposed to kind of massage your face with this in an upward and outward motion. Um... I haven't tried this yet, and I just thought it would be nice for massaging in my face. I think this was actually purchased in December as well, and I just didn't include it in my December haul, but this is the new Rimmel Super Curler 24-Hour Mascara. Curl, volume, and hold, and you're not supposed to need a lash curler. This is always, I am always intrigued by these claims because I have very straight eyelashes. I have to curl my eyelashes, so... I'm always I'm always intrigued by these claims to see if it'll work. I just got the color black, and we'll try it. Uh, also for Mermel, these are the the only one lipstick. I think these are called like Lipstick Revolution or something. I got two colors, 800 under my spell, and 200. It's a keeper. Uh, just a nude and a berry color. They smell really good. They smell like. smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers is what they smell like. Or watermelon? No. No, they smell like strawberry Jolly Ranchers. The Maybelline Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. I got the Prime and Illuminate, but honestly this is basically an eyeshadow on its own. You'll see in the swatch of it, it is so shimmery. <laughs> I think that you could definitely use this as just an eyeshadow on its own. I haven't used it that way. I haven't used it at all yet. But it's very, very shimmery. This doesn't even count as a purchase because I had a store credit and a coupon and a reward. So I actually got this for free. But I did purchase the Pure Afterglow Illuminating Powder. Uh, because everyone has been talking about this lately. And I, oh, you know what? I'm going to put some of this on. So I'm wearing the pure foundation today, so ooh. holy moly, holy moly. Wow, damn! Pastor's like, What? 
Wow. All right. So yeah, that's this. It's the first time I've worn it. It's pretty. You know, it looks like I failed. But here comes the justification. Two of the orders were placed in December, so they didn't count. Some of the stuff was free. And then the Kiko and some of the drugstore stuff was regular. But that's like a low buy, right? Let me know what you guys bought in January. If you tried any of the products that I mentioned, what are your thoughts? Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.